Today we're going to talk about how to create a combo box that when you need a new value put into it, that you can easily just type in that new value and work through a couple dialog boxes to add that value to the list for future use. Right now, combo boxes, you either put limit to list or even if you make it updatable, the coding isn't behind it in order to make the actual uh, box be actually updatable. So what I'm going to show you today is how to actually make it updatable. So I'm going to bring up my database here. And um, the form that I wanted to do this on is this script form here. Now I'll put this in design view so I can show you the particular field that I wanted to work with. And this is the field called setting. Okay. So this setting is a combo box. And when I show the property sheet here, if we look at data, it's a value list. It's green screen and bookstore are the two places or, or the two settings that we are going to film in. So one of our videos, uh, of course has a green screen like it has like I've got behind me right now and in a bookstore so that you can uh, so that we could do a story about uh, a bookstore that I happen to write code for at times. So here what we do though is when we set this up we say we're going to limit it to list. Now what limit to list does is it throws an error. The error could then be trapped and then you can write a piece of code to then add data to it. So we're going to allow value list edits and limit to list. And so that on the event, then if it's not in list, we've got an event procedure to capture that. And under our event procedure, we go ahead and write some code. And this code is really all, all it's going to do is it's going to grab the new data that we want as a string, and then it's going to respond back as an integer. Okay. And um, CTRL is a control. Okay. So the control is me.setting. So the name of my control, that drop down box, that combo box, is the, it, it's named setting. Um, going to have a message box that says value is not in the list. Do you want to add it? And it's going to have an OK or not, or cancel. Okay, it's an OK cancel. And here's the code for the OK and cancel. Um, then here the response is going to be one or the other. And it's going to capture that response. And then it's going to my control row source equals row, row source with a semicolon. And then it's going to put, add the new data. Else it's going to say, you know, we're going to undo what the person did if we hit the cancel button. Okay. So let's see how it works. Okay. Okay. So here's my, here's my list right here. And let's say here, I want pasture instead and pasture here. It's on my list. Okay. And, uh, so instead of pasture, I want to go ahead and say, it's going to be in the barn. Next one's going to be in the barn. When I hit tab out of that, it says, okay, message box. Remember that value is not in the list. Add it. Sure. Click OK. Uh, then it gives me another error message that says it's not in the list. You want to edit the items in the list? Sure. I do want to edit the list. So it adds barn to that list. So what it did is it added that semicolon and new data. And then it gives me that back, that dialog box that says you want to look at the whole list items there. And I can confirm that barn is on the list. I can actually edit the other ones also. I can also say barn should be up, maybe alphabetized. I could change this whole list if I want it. So let me click OK. And notice barn is now on the list. And I can select barn. And then I can tab out and I'm done with the record. Now, I want to show you where I got this information so that you can get back to it, because this is only one use case that shows how to do this task. There's other use cases. Let's say you've got a table that's driving that combo box, and you want to add a list to the table. Then there's other code that you can put in the same way that grabs the data and puts it in that table. 
I am going to go to the website that I have available here and show you that I got it from Microsoft. If you go to this site right here, and what you're looking for is access.combobox.notenlist is the um, event trap that you want to use. And here it'll tell you all, all the parameters and it'll tell you all the things that, uh, that you need to do. It'll give you an example. Here's the example I used here of just a list. Um, and then they give you here of a data set. So several different uh, ways to go about this. So if you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll help me grow the channel by hit, hitting the uh, subscribe button. And I sure hope to see you again. Thanks.